All right, guys. I'm gonna show you some quick job tutorials. JavaScript tutorials. Um, go to Eloquent. Quint JavaScript. And you can uh, play with JavaScript there. You can look at it like. Uh, let's see. Um, let's talk about what is this? This is a bear. This is like a number. You can store numbers like var now equals to one in console log. Oh, num. No, per not one. And then you could do uh, math on it. Let's try num. Num plus two plus three, and then we can do what else? Can we do uh, alert. We have to put something in there like alert num. See one was alerted. Uh, you can do strings. String is like well a word. Variable equals string. Uh, let's make a string hello world. Hello. Let me clear this. Clear. Clear. You use clear to clear your screen like that. Oh, clear. Uh, I think you guys missed it. Um, what is bar string that goes to hello world? Think of variables as tentacles that store information temporarily. So we're gonna alert it. Alert. It's an show pop up alert. Uh, actually, we don't need quotations. It's restored. So, the pop up. Look, hello world. Okay. There's also uh, confirm. Like that. Confirm. See, so it's like, okay, we go away. And it's prompt. Where you could enter stuff. You can enter stuff. Like, hi. Oh, see, I can enter anything. Prompt. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, uh, we do comparisons. Uh, you use console log. Console dot log comparisons. We do comparisons. Uh, three versus two. That's true. And then we're gonna clear. Sorry, clear. Uh, and then we do console dot log. Uh, three. See this one false. Oops, wrong buddy. Console dot log three plus a two. It's false. Uh, booleans are let's clear this. Um, if it's a string and a string, it's true. Console dot log uh, string. Like, let's go. Dog is less than a cat. Isn't it true? I don't know why. Watch. No, it's false. What the heck? True. Unbelievable. Let me, let me contact this code. One second. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't do that right there. Not bad. Should be like that. I don't know where all this code came from. Where I get this code? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Um. That's true. <clears throat> and then uh, we can use go to W3 schools, W3 schools, JavaScript, and you can play with JavaScript in here. Um, let's play time and date. Yeah, let's try that. <clears throat> All right, there's a button right here. Button. 
get element by demo and demo is here. So you can change this ID to anything else you want. You want like name and then you just change it to name. Name. It's like on click. Basically it's on click equals to document dot get element by ID and then it's name, the ID is here and then you're gonna grab that one and then you're gonna do inner HTML and then you show the date and click me this main date I'll just show that because that's this is the end of the button and this is like the button's text right here um, I can do some CSS uh, hold on it's not head let's try style style and then let's try Let's try 10 pixels. We got that. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, border radius uh, 25 pixels. See, it made a circular. Very cool. Um, change the background color. Background. Color to red. I can probably use RGBA. Oops, red. Or I can make it green. Whatever. I think it. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, that ends my tutorial. Yeah, and yeah. Pretty cool. You can play with this stuff. Uh, you can switch loops. Uh, this is the basics. Uh, you can make a form here. Look at the form API. Alright, uh, uh. alright, cool. If we look at the code. It's like input ID right here. It was min and max is 300, is okay. Uh, let's try 400. Single person. Okay, try for 300. Input's okay. See? The function is the variable is input object document get ID by right here. It's gonna select this. The min max is 100 to 300 in the code. If the object input object check the validity is equals to false. Dot get element inside demo, and then it validates message. And else, if it is false. Then get demo by input OK. Let's try a little higher. Is that gonna work? 500. Is that gonna work? Oh, say this. Input must be less than 300. So, yeah. This is a function though. Function my function. You're calling my function. This object orientation. So you can uh, you define an object. This is a person. Person has a name. Person has a last name. Person has an age. Person has an eye color blue. And then you're gonna print it up here in demo. You're gonna get element by demo in inner in, in HTML. And then the person. And then you're gonna find the person's first name and print empty string, and then this will get the last name. What else can we do? We can get the person's age. John is this old? Hold on. See, this is how uh, objects work. Objects are like dictionaries. Like, uh, what else can you do? Uh, you can go eye color. Change this. 
eye color and then you could put person's eye color eye color and then you'll get John oops John John actually yeah blue John eye color blue can you like John's eyes color is blue. We always gotta put a slash because like quotations stick to each other. The script will break because I it's the way it is. Um, I can do a lot with this. I can make this strong actually. Strong, strong. There. No flip out. This is bold now. Uh, let's do strike. Let's do strike. Strike. Let's strike it out. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm done with this tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned something from me. Uh, please sub, cause I'm just messing around with code, cause this is very simple, and uh, I'm just a, a code. I'm just a code ninja. CSS and uh, HTML bootstrap. Uh, I'm doing beginner JavaScript right now and some jQuery. Hopefully, I make some nice apps in the